Once upon a time in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and a meandering river, Halloween was the most anticipated time of the year. The village, with its cobblestone streets and charming cottages, always came alive with the colors of autumn. The air would fill with laughter and excitement as children and adults alike prepared for the grand celebration. This wasn't just any Halloween celebration. It was a night of legends and magic. Tales had been passed down through generations about a mystical ball held in the heart of the enchanted forest that lay beyond the village. It was said that the Skeleton King, a being of whimsy and mystery, would invite the living to dance the night away in his magical realm. The villagers would adorn their homes with carved pumpkins, flickering candles, and whimsical decorations to honor the enchanting night that lay ahead. Children, with eyes wide with wonder, would listen to the elders recount stories of the Skeleton King's Midnight Ball, their imaginations soaring with every word. Each year, a chosen few would find a golden bone-shaped invitation nestled among the autumn leaves at their doorstep. The invitation was the key to a night of whimsy, magic, and unforgettable adventure. It was said that those who attended the ball would be blessed with a year of good fortune and joy. As the sun cast long shadows on the village, heralding the arrival of Halloween, excitement bubbled through the streets. This year was particularly special, for it was a year that came only once a century, a year when the veil between realms thinned and the magic of Halloween grew tenfold. The morning of Halloween arrived with a crisp breeze carrying whispers of ancient magic. The village was abuzz with anticipation. Today was not just a celebration of spooky tales, but an invitation to partake in an adventure that transcended the ordinary realm. As the day unfolded, the villagers went about their traditions with an extra bounce in their steps. The children donned their costumes, each one reflecting their favorite magical creature. Their faces lit up with joy and excitement. Meanwhile, the adults shared hushed conversations, wondering who among them would be the chosen ones to receive the Skeleton King's golden invitation. As the afternoon sun cast a golden glow, a ripple of magic swept through the village. One by one, golden bone-shaped invitations began to appear at the doorsteps of select homes. Each invitation sparkled with an otherworldly glow, its magic beckoning the chosen ones to the night of whimsy that awaited. Among the chosen were Ada and Leo, young hearts filled with dreams and curiosity. They had always been enchanted by the tales of the Skeleton King's Midnight Ball. Now, with golden invitations in hand, the doorway to magic stood open, promising a night filled with wonder. As dusk wrapped the village in a blanket of stars, the enchanted forest came alive with twinkling lights guiding the way. The chosen ones, with hearts fluttering with excitement, made their way towards the heart of the forest where the Skeleton King's magical realm awaited. The path through the enchanted forest was like walking through a dream. Whimsical creatures peeked from behind the ancient trees, their eyes sparkling with the magic of Halloween. The forest hummed with a tune of mystery and anticipation, its heart beating in rhythm with the footsteps of the chosen ones. As they ventured deeper, the forest unveiled its magic, with playful shadows leading the way. The moon, now at its zenith, cast a silvery glow, making the leaves shimmer with a light of their own. Every step took them closer to a world where the whimsy of dreams met the reality of magic. At last, they reached a clearing where the grandeur of the Skeleton King's realm unfolded before their eyes. A majestic castle made of ethereal bones stood tall, its spires reaching for the stars. The grounds around it were alive with magical beings, each one unique, dancing and celebrating the night of Halloween. The Skeleton King, a figure of elegance and whimsy, welcomed each guest with a graceful bow. His skeletal frame moved with a magic of its own, his crown shimmering under the moonlight. The sight was both eerie and enchanting, a spectacle of Halloween magic come to life. The midnight ball commenced with the Skeleton King leading a dance of shadows and light. The music resonated through the bones of the earth, reaching the hearts of every being present. It was a night where the living and the magical danced as one, under the silver glow of the moon, celebrating the essence of Halloween. The night unfolded with tales spun in dance and magic shared in laughter. The living and the magical beings found a common tune, their hearts beating to the rhythm of the night. The stars seemed to dance along, twinkling in delight at the scene below. Ada and Leo found themselves amidst enchanting creatures, each dance taking them through tales of old and dreams of the morrow. The Skeleton King, with his gentle grace, 
led the celebration, his skeletal frame moving in harmony with the music of the night. The whimsical woods seemed to come alive, its ancient trees swaying gently to the rhythm of the music. The magical aura of the night cast a spell on everyone, blurring the lines between reality and the enchanting realm of the skeleton king. Amidst the celebration, whispers of ancient prophecies softly echoed through the crowd. It was said that on this unique night, a dance with the skeleton king could unveil secrets of old and blessings for the future. The mystery of the prophecies added a veil of intrigue to the enchanting night. As the night neared its end, the sky painted itself with the soft hues of dawn, promising a new beginning. The magical beings bid farewell. The skeleton king's gentle bow sealed the night of magic and whimsy leaving a trail of starry memories in the hearts of the Chosen Ones. As the first rays of dawn kissed the enchanted forest, the magic of the night began to softly ebb. The realm of the Skeleton King gently folded itself back into the veil of mystery from whence it came, leaving behind a village filled with tales of a magical Halloween night. Ada and Leo, with eyes sparkling with the magic of the night, made their way back to the village. The golden bone-shaped invitations had vanished, but in their place, a soft glow of magic hummed in their hearts, a melody of a night filled with whimsy and enchantment. The villagers gathered around, their faces lit with curiosity and wonder, as Ada, Leo, and the others recounted the tales of the Skeleton King's Midnight Ball. Each word painted pictures of a whimsical realm, of dances with magical beings, and a night where the stars sang along. The magic of that Halloween left a sweet enchantment over the village, a tale to be passed down through the ages. The young and the old carried the magic in their hearts, a gentle reminder of a world where whimsy and reality danced together under the soft glow of the Halloween moon. And as the autumn leaves whispered the tales of the Skeleton King's Midnight Ball, the village awaited with bated breath for the next magical Halloween, where perhaps the veil between realms would thin once more, unveiling the enchanting realm of whimsy and magic.